Hello, everybody. If you ever bring it home with your shopping some large paper bags, and if you do have some paintings, uh, maybe uh, some specialty tools like it's Brayer, today is the day where we can together create some amazing journal. This is Eva from Bohemian Crafting and uh, I'm so happy to see you here. I hope you will enjoy this video. Uh, it will be process video of how I created journal using those large paper bags and I do hope you will find some inspiration and you will enjoy it and maybe you will try to do your own. Uh, we are on the week number 27 in 2022 and here uh, I'm coming to to share something that I didn't uh, thought I will have to share because uh, it got me by surprise. In the last video I had quite a few uh, comments that I'm not sharing my tutorials here anymore and it confused me. It confused me so much so I went to my YouTube channel to check out why, why people are not receiving uh, notifications. It, that, that's what I think. Because as I said, we are on week number 27 now. And in those 27 weeks, I shared 20 uh, process videos, tutorials. And I think that's that's quite a good number. There are videos on uh, journal covers. There are videos uh, on amazing gifts from 12 by 12 sheets. There are videos with folders with pockets for journals. There is a video with trans transferring or altering shoebox to amazing storage uh, storage box or yeah storage box. So there is quite a lot of videos where I do share process of the creating or tutorial how I create that. And those comments kind of surprised me. I, I think that then I realized that I I am subscribed to many channels and from few of them where I click that bell to, to make sure I will receive the notifications. I'm not receiving them or I receiving them quite late after they posted their video. So maybe that will be uh, the issue that I've got these comments like I'm not sharing here tutorials anymore because I do uh, and you can check it out. So please, if you haven't seen these videos, click on the name Bohemian Crafting under this video. It will transfer you to my channel and then you can see all these videos I'm sharing with my weavers here on YouTube. And I'm always thinking when I do share those process videos, it's always that I hope you will like them and I hope you will you will be inspired to create something because I do love create any kind of stuff like that trans uh, altering shoebox that was so amazing to do so uh, to see simple shoebox and alter it to some amazing vintage looking box so uh, there is really lots of videos and I do believe also those videos where I am using one sheet uh, 12 by 12 inch and uh, I am creating from that sheet something awesome. I do believe uh, those videos are good to watch as well. I put very hard work into these videos to make sure it will be easy to follow. And uh, in the end, we will have something really beautiful and maybe surprising from one sheet. So please, if you haven't seen these videos, go to have a look. I hope you will like them. And I really hope you will take some, some inspiration and it will inspire you to create something. So I think this is the problem that you are not receiving that notification. It doesn't work every single time. I, I know that <clears throat> with my own experiences. So for those who left me those comments, and it was really quite a lot, that was surprised me. So please go to have a look. I, I hope you like these videos. And we are here uh, in creating from those paper bags. Uh, as you saw in that video, I used uh, the Brayer tool, which I bought after seeing uh, Marley's videos. She's awesome with creating backgrounds with this tool. And I, I felt in love with this tool. It's it's amazing tool. And I use it here to create kind of like abstract background. 
and um, I just followed, I don't know, I didn't have any plan what to do with this paper. I just imagine what shape of journal I would like to have. For this journal I have chose the size uh, kind of similar, like a traveler's notebook. So I cut the chipboard 4 by 7 and that chipboard I used for folding my papers. Uh, many times I'm, I'm uh, getting a question how I do start or how I plan my journals. And for me to make a journal, it's a very long process, a really very long process. To finish journals, I shared in the last video, I started last year or even year before. So for me to finish journal is a very, very long process. This journal I started... Uh, around Easter of this year and we are on summer holidays now so you can imagine and this one is from those most easy I am I'm thinking because here uh, I'm just editing my scraps uh, into those large sheet of papers and I, I do believe this is Although I I uh, I'm trying to pay attention how my papers will lay on lay down on each other and how it will looks like, but uh, this one it's quite easy to do. Uh, you just need to stick your scraps on some empty spot. That's all. And to, if you need so, like I do need so to make a sense in my papers, <laughs> then it's a little bit more difficult. But if you have that free soul. Uh, this uh, to having a large sheet folded large sheet of paper into some kind of pages and then to open it and have one big space where you can create your um, pages ish <laughs> i do believe that it's most easy thing to do and i really hope you will try this one so for me uh, to plan my journals it's a very very long process uh, I'm thinking about every single journal long time before I will actually put first steps to create, I don't know, maybe digitals for that journal or maybe cover for that journals. And I don't start every single journal same way. Uh, it depends um, what kind of journal I want to have. Maybe some journal ha has more pockets and uh, at that time probably I'm starting with those pockets because I want to see how deep they will be, uh, how thick they will be, and then I'm planning how uh, large cover I will need for that journal. So for me, to finish journal, it's a really very long process. Uh, that's why I don't have through the year many uh, videos with the full journal in the tutorial, because for me, it's a really very long process. But if you will go to my channel, you will see I do have there uh, at least two this year. Uh, maybe smaller bands, but there are they are there, so go to have a look. And I hope you will enjoy it. Uh, I do love to craft so very much, and I do love this craft family because I learned so much from you. Really very, very amazing tips and tricks and awesome tools, which I never thought uh, those tools are exist. So I do love my craft very much. It, it brings me happiness and that calm feeling and uh, I can use new tools I never thought I will use for paper craft like a sewing machine that never was in my head that it it's possible to use and I do love stitching on my papers it's just amazing touch and it looks amazing even your stitching are not perfect uh, maybe you add on purpose some weird stitching like I do many times because it's just put something a little bit more on pages and I really never thought uh, about using my sewing machine on, on papers when I told to my mommy that I'm using my sewing machine on papers she nearly failed because she knows that the sewing machine is very expensive thing to have and papers are not for sewing <laughs> that's that's what I uh, thought before I saw many many amazing creators here you know, through to those years when uh, I'm still learning uh, all kind of techniques. So I was exactly same. Sewing machine, it's not for papers, but now sewing machine is definitely for papers. 
So I do love craft very, very much. And uh, I'm so happy to share with you my, my, uh, my new explore explorations, <laughs> what I found and, uh, where I was inspired by, by who I was inspired. So I'm, I'm always happy to share and I hope you see that in my videos that I'm happy to share with you uh, new techniques or new ideas. Uh, you know, I do believe I was always kind of like artistic in my mind from from the, my beginning in, in this world. But I've been grew up in kind of like army family-ish. My mom was working for army for many years and we've been rising in that style. Everything had a special place. Everything had to be uh, sorted out. We had a timetable for each day and we had to follow it. And we had a rules or chores to, to, to do every single day. And it was uh, like strictly rules. So my artistic mind was kind of like tied up uh, in my childhood. And when I found this amazing craft family and uh, when I start to explore all these things we are using for creating junk, junk journals or for me even creating things for my home, uh, like home decor or my shelving stuff, for me it's still like dream come through because I never could imagine just a simple stamping platform. It's still for me, it's still like magic or my envelope punch board. I love that tool so very much. Big shot, cutting machine. Oh my, I can't tell you how much I love all these tools that we can buy now and uh, all these designers and companies who are making it for us. Uh, uh, they are so amazing, really. So to find this craft family, for me, it was gift. <laughs> gift from universe and uh, I'm so happy that I found you seven years, I think. Seven, eight years from uh, from now, I found uh, nearly eight years from now, I found this craft family just because of Michelle Mooney. She is uh, owner of amazing YouTube channel, uh, The Paper Addiction. If you never saw her channel before, please go to have a look. I do love her journals so very much. I always wish to do journals like she does, but uh, I can't get there. She does have amazing style, so vintage style and so gorgeous. And she was the one of who, who kind of showed me how amazing things can be done with simple paper. So if you haven't seen her channel yet, I will put link down below and please go to have a look. Uh, her videos was first I saw and at that time I didn't understand uh, English that much and I didn't understand that she made that uh, until I watched all her videos. That was for me, it was like, uh, it was like fairy tale when I watched her videos and I kind of get that understanding that she actually made that those books so for me it was like wow I felt like a child and I was adult at the time already so for me it was like magic to see what she did with simple paper and that was the thing which turned me into this craft family and which I will be always blessed to, to be here and I hope I will share with you all my explorations and all, all things I learned through the time uh, with good way And now for uh, probably beginners and uh, maybe even for skilled uh, skilled junk journal makers in the background of the, in the video you are seeing me to sew my papers inside of that large sheet. Uh, this is very simple stitching. Uh, if you would like to learn uh, different types of book binding, I do have channel for you, which uh, I visited many times in the past. And I learned a huge amount of techniques and great tips from this channel. It's called Sea Lemon. 
and you can find a really big amount of different type of stitching the pages together. So I highly recommend uh, the videos uh, Sea Lemon Book Binding. Uh, you will learn a lot. So for all beginners, uh, if you would like to learn from great tutorials, this is the channel you, you should go to have a look. I will put link down below as well. So I, I, I think that's the good channel to go to, to, to see, to have a look. And um, in the video, you <laughs> You saw me to add the pages into my, or to sew the book page into my large sheet. And of course I have to have there some kind of uh, flip and flaps and pockets everywhere. So I found in my stuff some old uh, simple pockets I made. I, I don't even remember where I made, when or not, yeah, when I made them, not where. I probably made them in my craft room, I'm guessing, <laughs> but I don't remember when I made them. So it's long time ago when I made these simple pockets and before I will glue down those uh, pockets, uh, I wanted to add there also framing around the windows I cut into my uh, large sheet and for that I'm using uh, old envelope uh, and I'm cutting uh, with the same paper punch I cut the windows on that large sheet. I'm cutting the window in that scrap envelope and then around that window I cut it. I'm, I'm cutting kind of like frame and that's what I will use on my large sheet to frame those windows I cut there. Oh my explanation is terrible but I hope <laughs> from the view on the video you will understand what I'm doing here and uh, that is kind of like process I'm, I'm doing with every single my journals um, I'm kind of following what I think it will be good looking thing or on pages not every time it works the, the, don't don't get that thing that every time uh, what I do uh, at the first it will be end up in the in the journal. I do change my designs many many times before uh, I show them to the world. Really many times. Um, if I'm not uh, happy with the design, I sleep on it every time. Or I put the journal on the side, and then it's sitting maybe for months. It's like like now I do have three journals. I started in 2019. And I still didn't didn't finish them because uh, there is something where I can't. I'm not happy with them, and I still can't find what's wrong with them. So <laughs> until I will be sure that uh, what I want to change, what is not the quiet, um, quite good from my view, I'm not touching them because. But, you know, it will be maybe wrong to change, to make a changes now. And I'm not sure what's wrong with them because I can't see it yet. <laughs> but I hope maybe in 2030, <laughs> I will find a way how to finish those journals. <laughs> so that's how long time it sometimes takes for me to finish my journals. And <laughs> it's sometimes so hard to be in my head. I, I uh, Oh, I love your... <laughs> Your amazing comments when you wrote me and many times I, I read that that you would like to be in my head no don't trust me no <laughs> it's too complicated sometimes even I am confused by my thinking sometimes but anyway I do love craft I really do I do love even those changes when I'm making those changes in my journals I'm sometimes surprising myself oh ooh, this is so cute <laughs> So that's why I do love that craft, you know, we can do so many things with paper. Paper is so forgiving and we always have a glue and we always have those amazing modeling pastes and stickers and, you know, all kinds of stuff. We can cover all mistakes. So please don't get stressed if you do mistakes in your journals, because I do too. I think everyone does some kind of mistake what they don't want to have in the journal so then just think how you can change it and it can be done many ways and I did it many times that I ripped off the page and then I did kind of like collage on that ripped off the page to cover my ripped off the page and to hide my mistake so just enjoy your craft 
try to feel free. I'm always trying that uh, to free my mind, to to be calm and to just enjoy this this amazing opportunity we've been given that we can play with paper and we can relax. Craft is supposed to be always about relaxing and I hope you do enjoy that. People who are creating something, uh, they are mostly very good heart and uh, they are calm and they are, don't do stupid things. At, at least I do believe so. So that's why I do love to create and that's why I do love to to share with you what I am creating because I'm always hoping that it will inspire you to grab your stuff and to do something as well. I think I'm gonna <laughs> stop chit-chatting and I'm just gonna uh, kind of comment uh, what I'm doing in, in that video. Uh, I did share, I'm not sure how long time, it was maybe 2017, 18. I did share... Uh, the closure made from can pull opener that's what you can see in the background right now i'm using those can pull openers for making the closures for my pages and i do love them very much there is a video uh, how i made these i will try to find it and put link down below so maybe you can be inspired by that as well there is so many things you can use in the junk journals those paper bags, uh, can pull openers, envelopes, those acetate sheets which I used to cover those windows, they are actually from packaging. Uh, they are from packaging from my uh, dies, from uh, from Tim Holtz, those those uh, large big Sizzix dies. These are amazing. Uh, uh, you know, those packaging, they are amazing to use uh, in junk journals. They are really perfect for our craft. So when you are uh, making your junk journal, make sure you will go through to your home. And you, I believe you will find so many amazing things to use in junk journals. Sterile boxes, old envelopes, that uh, white tape you saw me to use to reinforce the envelope fold. That is medical tape, uh, that micropores paper tape. And it's amazing. It's not thick, it's semi-transparent and it's perfect for reinforcing folds to make them a little bit more stable. So that you can find the supplies uh, for your junk journal in your home uh, in your home very easily. I do believe. Just have a open mind and open eyes, and you will find loads of stuff. So here I'm creating the closures for that uh, kind of like accordion pocket, and I did use uh, at the front. I did use one old card from the game from Travia game and I do love to use these. They are beautiful decoration. You can stamp on them, you can distress these. So don't even throw away uh, some old games. Maybe you are missing some pieces in old games, uh, but don't throw them away. They are amazing additional to your junk journals as well. And I am using that tape also to cover the back of these brats to make sure when I will slide something into those pockets I will create from this large sheet of, of paper. So the tags or something that I will slide into those pockets will don't get stuck over uh, those ends of my brats. And that tape is, is perfect for that. So really you can find the stuff for junk journals everywhere so you saw me to create kind of i'm gonna call that signature even if it is only one long strip of paper folded on kind of like pages and you can what is good on it that you can create uh, decorate it straight away 
and then once you have there those openings and maybe windows if you want to create their windows then you're gonna put these signatures together and I hope it will be easy so I'm gonna start with this this will be like my last signature and uh, if you will notice if I will just lay down this back uh, it's kind of like open so uh, I know because of pages inside it will be good if I will don't press these together properly if I will put there something between to make the spine this will be spine of my book well where this paper will be glued together so it will create the spine here so it will be good if the spine will kind of be same uh, wide or depth like those pages here and for that I'm gonna uh, take a cord I do have here this black cord and I bought it long time ago and I thought I'm gonna use it in my journals but I never did actually so I'm gonna use this cord it's strong it keeps the shape and uh, it's perfect for this project and I'm gonna open my paper on the last kind of like last opening or last page this will be glued to the cover to the back cover here and this will be my my last pocket page so in that last pocket page I'm gonna add there this cord <clears throat> I would like to have their pocket from the top the top of my pages is here this is bottom of my pages so the spine side and the bottom of my pages I'm gonna add there this cord so first I'm gonna add here glue And now I'm gonna glue here the cord I <coughs> chose for this type of kind of like um, filling the gap cord. I think this way. Here I'm gonna cut. and make sure that it's on the end that it will fill the gap and it will make the spine side a little bit more wider and also those pockets a little bit more wider I'm gonna let it dry then I will add the glue on the top of that cord And because I'm using uh, this is brilliant glue which I am using but it's uh, drying kind of slow so I will have to wait a little bit before I will continue to the next page so I added the glue also on the top of that cord now I'm gonna flip this over it and press so I just kind of like um, reinforced not reinforced I just put the space into that pocket here and also made the spine spine side a little bit more dimensional so that the difference between the pages itself and between the spine will be not that huge and I'm gonna take again my glue put a glue on the bottom of my pockets and on the side and I will adhere the cord and let it dry
and here. I'm going to take the signature which will be before this last one and this first page will be glued over that fold here right here so I'm gonna put the glue on that fold you can glue these uh, pages or your signatures together first and then to start to put uh, that cord inside or you can do it this way that step by step signature by signature so right now I am gluing that previous signature to the new one and glue it properly So I do have glued that pocket with that cord, here I do have another cord and because I glued that previous signature I do have again that extension so I'm gonna continue or I can glue that uh, next one as well, it will be exactly the same, I'm gonna put a glue on this fold and place it here under my first page here it over and also check oops yeah check from this side if you are on the right spot So here I already put that cord, so I'm gonna go again with my glue on that cord. Like this. And place this over it. and press and again here I'm gonna put a cord, put a glue then a cord <laughs> and this way till that totally last folded part so I do have my journal, uh, journal block here and I do have two pieces which I will use for front and from for back of my journal and I do have uh, some leftovers from these bags which I didn't uh, cover with the painting and I'm gonna use them for to make the covers uh, for my journal and I think because of this I tried to rip off that label but it started to ripping off the paper as well so I glue it back and because of this, I'm thinking to do some collage on these pieces. They're supposed to be big enough to cover my chipboard pieces for front and for back. So I'm going to bring some uh, stickers, actually. I'm going to use stick stickers and do some uh, something with those papers. So I do have here my sheets. Uh, these are sheets with stick uh, sticker, sticky paper 
or self adhesive paper. These are sheets which are used for printing shipping labels and I just print on it the decorative papers. I like to use them when I'm making some collages. So I do have all kind of, you know, background papers, background uh, beautiful images. And here's some kind of ledger papers and stuff from my... Uh, from my design so I think I'm gonna use that mix and match and do something with those covers I do have inside green here and there so I'm thinking to choose also these decorative papers in that in that mood or in that uh, that color although I like this one I think it can go together. Yeah, this. And some ledger ones. Maybe this one. I will see. And some ledger papers. And I will just take my stickers. And start to layer them on my sheet and do some collage. I like to use these uh, sticky papers just because they are not too heavy. And I can stick them straight away. So they are perfect for collaging. So just very easy mix. And if somewhere happened that I do rip of the sticky sticky edge or a sticky background just add there a glue and all oh, it's good And the second one.
So I do have my collage sheets. I just added on those empty spots here and there, these uh, labels. So now I can place my paper and wrap that paper to that collage paper, th those chipboards, I mean. <laughs> I can place my chipboards on my collage paper, wrap those chipboards to that collage paper. So I try to make position on my paper with this chipboard. I cut the corners and I'm just gonna very easily wrap up the paper around the chipboard. Press it nicely. Also corners, make sure that they go stick. So I do have two pieces wrapped up in uh, those uh, kind of like collage papers. Uh, I'm not going to use my sewing machine because I use that double sided tape and it will just mess up with the needle. But to create something on this one, uh, I'm going to use <coughs> hole punch and I will add their eyelets to give them some kind of decoration. I will also use my distress inks and distress the edges. I'm going to be using ground espresso and my brush. And with that ground espresso, I will distress all the edges and go here and there also in the middle of that paper. I do have front and back cover here and I'm gonna do uh, I think I'm gonna place here this label I shared with uh, with my patreons I do have this one also on buy me a coffee you can find it there link will be down below uh, the sheet with these labels and I was thinking they can be used on either on uh, junk journals as a title maybe or envelopes you know something <laughs> or just like decoration in journals and I think I'm gonna use this one just gonna glue it on a piece of chipboard to make it a little bit more thick and visible and I've got here these beautiful I think I've got it from Hobbycraft or from TK Max uh, in Sheffield from Sheffield I think from Hobbycraft uh, I found these beautiful brats not sure if my camera will zoom properly uh, those smalls are, are normal brats and there, those large ones, they do have like screw heads on it. They're perfect. And it's from Artemio. And somewhere there, hopefully you can see the number 11006622. It's reference number of this product. Beautiful brats. So that's what I would like to use um, somehow. <laughs> Not sure if that will work or if, if it will look good. So I'm going to glue my label on the chipboard, cut it around.
and distress it with the same ink with ground espresso. it right here And I'm going to poke the holes. There. And fix there. Brats, and I think I'm gonna use these. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Press it. So I do have those brats and uh, here where those stars are, I think I'm going to put their um, eyelets and because this will be back cover, so it will be that way on my book. This will be outside. So I'm going to hold these covers the way they will be on the book together. Make sure they will don't move. I'm going to clip them. And I'm going to be using my uh, crocodile and punch the holes. So I do have punched holes in both covers 
on exact same spot I'm gonna fix their eyelets So I will have a space where I will put some closure and as a closure I would like to use this beautiful uh, lace trim or lace uh, but first I need to somehow figure it out how I will fix it all together with my uh, with my book block. So this will be here and that inside will be hidden totally so I can just glue it there straight away and then just probably poke the hole. I should glue it there first and then uh, poke the hole for my brats but I did mistake so I'm gonna work with that I'm gonna add the glue on all this space and glue there my front cover So that will be here. I'm gonna make it stand and put it all together. Glue it all together. I'm gonna have a look if I am on the right position and make sure that everything is glued nicely I'm gonna press it with my bone folder okay, I'm gonna let it dry before I will poke the you know the hole through or maybe I can try So right here and right here okay So I do have the leg which will go one and two, three times around my book. And I'm gonna create my cover, uh, cover closure, <laughs> closure, so I'm gonna push the lace through. Oh, from outside, this way, sorry, this way. And go the other, other way outside. And 
and I'm gonna make a knot here and on one end I do have that knot in there I do have here this uh, um, bead with kind of like large hole inside so I'm gonna try to slide that bead around both ends first around this one and then I will try to push inside that other one as well hopefully maybe am I able to do so what do you think <laughs> we will see Go, 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 come on, come on. Ah, gotcha. Okay, so I do have it here. All right. Just like this. So this will be here and on this shorter end, I'm gonna uh, sew this my resin piece so just with a very simple sewing around few times to fix it to make sure it will hold nicely and hopefully it will look nice So a few times. No, not with my tool. Like that. Then I'm gonna do a knot on the back side. And cut that shorter piece. And I'm gonna go on that opposite end and sew it also a few times. make a knot and because I like when it's something you know hanging I do have here a small composition of beads on uh, one pin I think it's called a pin so I just slide a few beads on it and now I can hang it here hopefully my lace will hold okay I'm gonna place it a little bit more to that pattern Just wrap it 
and we do have decoration here and I'm gonna take my back cover and do exactly same with the lace and beads I will just do, don't add there any sentiment on that chipboard or uh, chipboard uh, the resin piece I will add there just the beads on the end So I do have fixed the lace with those beads here as well and because here I do have that acetate piece I would like to have that the, the pocket as well so I'm gonna add the glue here on this flap And also, like before, I'm going to add the piece of that uh, cord. This is bottom of my book and this is that uh, spine side. So here and here I'm going to add there the cord again. So I do have cord glued around the bottom and the spine side. I do have glue here and on the cord again. And now I'm going to just place my back cover on that fold and over that cord i'm gonna stand it up to make sure it will be straight and press everything and i'm gonna let it dry So before I will continue, I'm going to let this dry. So as a last thing, what I will do, I'm going to, you don't have to actually cover the spine because it does look cute. It's interesting. And if you will use a uh, colored cord, maybe red one or, you know, some kind of color, on that cord it will be also kind of like uh, you know you know very colorful and beautiful but i'm gonna cover the spine uh, for that covering the spine i'm gonna use this uh, fabric medical tape because i really like to use it it's holding well it can be distressed so it can look vintage it's just perfect eh, perfect for my journals <laughs> if I don't get glued into it and I'm gonna cover with this medical tape all spine and if if it will be too small I can always you know extend it with another piece and place it over this first one but I think this will be good enough I'm gonna use the leftover on my brush from uh, Ground Espresso Distress Ink. And for now I'm done. If I will want so. I can always add this lace also to the spine. You know, to, to create some uh, beautiful layering of that lace. But for now, I think I'm going to keep it this way until I will find some beautiful pictures, which I will add inside. This is just very simple decoration, very simple journal. I mean, on the top, on the cover, because yeah, I didn't have any idea what to do on the cover right now. That's what I said, that for me to plan all my journals, it takes time. Uh, I, I need to plan what I will have on the top. I have to have some idea. And it always takes a time. It's I, I don't know how to do journals in a month. 
or in a week, a week I never did a journal in a week even in videos it does look that way that it was finished in the week it's never it never was so it's just because I'm editing those videos so for you it can looks like I'm, I'm freakishly fast but I'm <laughs> definitely not so for now uh, this is my journal. I do hope you will try this binding or this putting together journal because as you can see you can open it fully flat. It's just because you don't have anything you know on the spine. It's very flexible. You can open it flat which is perfect and the pockets are amazing. They are nice size and they are very dimensional just because in the spine side is that cord so they are very dimensional so uh, you can add to those pockets quite a lot actually. I'm gonna slide uh, these. Yeah, I think. So this is my sharing for today. I will work on this journal through, you know, here and there again. I will see what I will do with this journal. I hope you did enjoy it. Even I didn't do any decorative, too much decorative uh, cover. It's a very simple one. But I hope you will try to craft with those shopping bags because they are amazing uh, amazing item to use you know in our junk journals i love to use those shopping bags they are very versatile here i do have this one so maybe here no here so i hope you did enjoy it my <laughs> you did enjoy my uh, short or maybe not too short, short tutorial for a junk journal using shopping bags. Thank you so, so much for visiting me today. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. Uh, have a beautiful day. Take care about yourself and I will see you soon. Bye.